It's time. It's time. It's time. For what? For the Curious Giraffe Show. Sit back and relax. So we'll sing, chat, and laugh on the Curious Giraffe Show. So I'm so glad you're back. Welcome to the Curious Giraffe Show. We have something special today. We're going to get to know each person on the crew a little bit better. So let's find out what the giraffe's questions are today. And the first person we'll be meeting. Giraffe, giraffe looked over at eagle and said, Why was I born to walk? Why were you born to fly? Eagle just shrugged and gave a high five. Hey, we all share one big sky. Oh yeah, here we go. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Giraffe looked over at zebra and said, Why do I have spots? Why do you have stripes? Zebra just shrugged and said, We come in all types, but we all share one big sky. Oh yeah! Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share, and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Here's the surprise. Giraffe looked over at she him and said, I'm so curious to find out what you think and feel and do. We'll talk a while and sing and learn some more about you underneath this one big sky. Oh yeah, here we go. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. All right, thank you. Him. We got to sing about you in the song, yep. and I really do want to learn more about what you think about and feel. And so, today, I thought we'd sort of turn it into a game. So, you could choose one of these curious friends, including George. They each have a question. You get to choose three questions. Okay. Let's see. Choose this one first from George. Okay. When do you feel good? What do you do when you feel good? Um, oh, when I feel good, I'm happy, so I smile. Uh -huh. um, sometimes I write down things so I can remember it, um, or I draw. So when you've had a good time, sometimes you write about it? Yeah. Or you draw. What a great idea. I really love hearing this. Now, would you be willing to share? What about when you don't feel so good? When I don't feel good? Um, I guess I just get really angry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I don't smile, obviously. Right. Um, your, your face shows it. Yeah. But when I'm on the show, when I'm not smiling, that doesn't mean I'm angry. Right. It means you're thinking? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if you're, if you're, Feeling good, you smile and you write mm -hmm. and you draw. Do you and um, do you want to tell somebody else about it if you feel good or bad, or do you like to keep it to yourself? Well, sometimes I like to keep it to myself, and sometimes I like express it to people who understand. But you look for somebody who might understand. Yeah. Yeah, I un that I understand that. Yeah, great. Okay. Would you like to try another question? Sure. Okay, so she chose from Jeanette. If you had one wish, what would it be? Well, I have a lot of wishes, so mm -hmm. I'm just going to pick three instead. Okay. So my first wish would be if I had, I wish I had a million dollars. Um, and my
my second wish is, well, I really want to be on a different TV show uh, with this actor that's one of my favorites, Sky Jackson. Oh, okay. Yeah. It might happen. I want to be an actor, I guess. Uh-huh. So. So, um, <laughs> why would you like to have a million dollars? Um, well, I could help out my family, mm -hmm. and also I'd probably buy myself a really fancy house and a car for when I'm ready to drive so I don't have to worry about anything. Mm, maybe pay some taxes for my parents. Uh-huh, yes. And, yeah. So you have generous ideas, both to help yeah. out and to get you what you need so you don't have to worry. Yeah. Right, right. Well, the reason we sing the song So Many Stars is so you can dream about how these things could happen, to get on a new show with actors you've yeah. seen and admire. So fun dreams. So you said three dreams. Oh, heard, three wishes. Whoops, yeah. I only or said wishes. two. Yeah. Um, my third wish, um, I wish I had an older sister or another younger sister. Uh-huh, more sisters. Yeah. So I have a very close friend of mine who doesn't have a brother or sister. Yeah. And what she did was she made friends that became such good friends that they consider each other sisters. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want a really good friend like that because oh. when we like have an argument, uh -huh. it's going to be really sad. So I prefer to just sort of keep to myself sometimes. Oh, that's an interesting thing. Hmm. So one thing to think about as you go through life is maybe how to work through when you have those arguments. Because people do have disagreements, whether you live in the same family and are sisters and brothers, or whether you make a friend along the way. So that's a good growing question. Excellent, excellent thoughts. Okay, you get to have one more choice. She's gone that's to the from Eagle. Eagle. Good. Do you have a favorite activity would you show us? Um, well, I brought some things to share. Great. I have two activities. So my first one is I really love to draw. And I made a point shoe. It's probably like my second point shoe that I ever drew. What do you call that? A point shoe. I don't know what a point shoe uh, is. You know ballerinas, what they wear on the oh, feet? Oh, the point yeah. shoe. Here, let me hold that so that people can still see that. Okay. There, now I see it. Beautiful. Yes. And then my other one is the Star of David. Wow. And I kind of messed up. I was using a ruler and the paint kept getting on the ruler. Here, I'm going to hold it. So. The paint kept getting on the ruler. So it would. So you can still see some of those lines. Yeah. But it gives it energy to me. It's not just a stagnant picture. It looks like it, almost that that Star of David is moving. That's beautiful. And why did you choose blue for that? Well, blue is my favorite color. And also because on the um, Israeli flag, it's blue and white. And yes. so I decided blue. I tried white, but it looked really bad. So I just kept with the blue. And you did several shades of blue. Yeah. So it really shows. Very nice. Why did you choose a a rosy pink background here? Well, at first it was just like a magenta and it was too plain, so I just decided to add the black. Also, I had extra black paint. Great. Well, it really makes your dancer show up. That's great. And I'll take those. Okay. Um, and my second activity is making doll clothes for my sister. I don't play with them anymore. I keep them on a big drawer. Um, or shelf in my closet. And so this is one of my most special dolls. Um, we call her Endy because she's a Nigerian doll. Oh, say and the name I mean, again. Endy, just Endy. Endy. Um, D. Yeah, okay. her Nigerian doll. And oh. I made this for her. Wow. And then here's my first Barbie doll that I ever got. It was supposed to be Tiana, but I cut her hair and I made this dress for her. Um, and the back has buttons, and wow. there's that one. And then one dress that I made kind of recently was this one, kind of like a schoolgirl dress. This girl's name is Starlight. Mm -hmm. um, 
She's missing an arm. <laughs> but she's a model. Yeah. Yeah. And she, I cut her hair also when I was little. Uh -huh. um, so I just decided to sew some hair on her. And wow. my most special doll is my Michael Jackson doll because Michael Jackson is my Hold favorite that up person. So your audience, look at your Michael Jackson doll. And you made those clothes for him? No, I only made the shirt. The shirt? Yeah. Um, and that is it. That's really interesting to me that you took a doll that was made a certain way and you gave them new hairstyles and then you made them new clothing styles. Yep. And sometimes accidents happen and a doll may lose her arm or a yeah. person could for some reason not have their arm but still dress very elegantly. Yeah. All right. I'm working on a different dress and it's this rose fabric with roses all over it like actual like roses that are pink sewed onto it and I'm making a big dress out of it. A dress for yourself? No, for or a dress the for dolls. one of the dolls. Yeah. Wow, that's very nice. I have to keep them looking nice. So. Yes, you do. And your beautiful dress and what you call turban. What you, turban. Um, did you design that style? No. Who thought of that? Uh, style? My father has a seamstress and he came back from Jamaica with lots of clothes from her. Great, great. Well, it looks lovely on you. So thank you. thank you for thinking about those things and sharing that with us. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Isa. Hi. I am so glad that you could come on our special program today where we're interviewing the crew on the Curious Giraffe Show. And that changes all the time. I am very proud to introduce you. Um, this is Isa, my eight-year-old granddaughter who's visiting from Vermont. So, Isa, you get to choose from our curious animals here, um, and counting the George the Curious Giraffe, you can choose three questions. So go ahead, make a choice. All right. So, I'm going to choose Jaguar. Okay. Read it out loud. Tell us when you met someone new or tried something new. When I was in kindergarten, the only thing I would eat was peanut butter and jelly. Mm -hmm. So when I started eating other things, that was when I tried something new. And when I was in preschool, um, my best friend lived in Morrisville and I lived in Hyde Park. So when we w were ready to go into kindergarten, we didn't go to the same school, so I tried something new by making new friends. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember what the first new food was you tried after the Um, I don't remember. Oh, okay. And how was it when you, had to, when you made new friends at your new school? It was difficult for a long time, mm -hmm. but now it's just passed. Now it's passed, and you know everybody? Basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least everybody's name. Okay, great, great. That's a big, a big thing, even for grown-ups. When we're the meeting new, in a new situation, we really have to try for a while before we feel comfortable. So try another one. You have another question. I'm trying Jeanette. Okay. If you had one wish, what would it be? If I had one wish, it would be that everyone know, could understand how other people were, were feeling in any situation. Wow. Wouldn't that make the world? Yeah, carry that. There you go. That is a, a thoughtful, thoughtful wish that everyone would understand each other's feelings. Okay. So, yep, one more. When do you feel good? What do you do when you feel good? and the opposite. 
When I feel good, I try really hard to remember it so that when I feel sad, I can just think of that time and it'll, and it'll make me happy. Mm -hmm. And when I'm mad, I try really hard to not remember it, but it'll, I always do. Mm -hmm. And I just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So is there something that you like to do or that you're interested in? Uh, I like climbing trees. Oh, tell us more about that. Um, well, I grew up in a house at the edge of Hyde Park um, in Morrisville and there were trees there that I used to climb all the time. And then once we moved to Hyde Park, we, there were lots of more trees, but they were much more difficult. So I sort of took it up a level. <laughs> took it up a level. So you like going up a level? Yes. Meeting a challenge? Very good. Thank you. Anything else you want to share? OK. You want to do a song? Okay, very good. Thank you for being a special visitor at the last minute. Isa was here for her visit and she had the opportunity and she was brave and courageous and stepped into a new experience even today. Hi there. Hi, hi. Dorothy. Yes, hi Dorothy. And hi, I'm Dorothy. going to say this is Justice and Bella from our Curious Crew on the show. Today's our day to get to know each other a little better. So who would like to pick? What, so what we have is several of our Curious friends and their questions. And who would like to go first? OK, go ahead. Choose a question for us. Oh, look at him. He found the question up in Curious George's hat. OK. When do you feel good? What do you do when you feel good and the opposite? Uh, okay, so when do you feel good? Let's start with that part. Okay. Think for a minute. Do you have an answer yeah. to that? When I feel good, I smile a lot. Mm -hmm. When I feel sad, I like to sing and be alone. Really? Okay, did that make you think of something? Mm -hmm. uh, I like to go, when I feel happy, I like to go to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. And when I feel sad, uh, I like to be in my room alone. Interesting. So sometimes you feel good and you want to be alone, Bella, and then when you feel sad, you sing? And do you want to be with others when you're sort of feeling sad? No. When do you want to be with others? When I'm happy. When you're happy. So how does, when you're happy, you like to go to, to Trader Joe's and? Oh. OK. And that makes you feel even happier? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So do you want to choose another question? And let Bella have a turn. And she asked you to read it for her. If you had one wish, what would it be? I wish sometimes that I was the oldest so then I could boss people around and others couldn't boss me around. And sometimes I wish I could could be a millionaire, mm -hmm. and I, sometimes I wish it, real, uh, it was my birthday a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those are good wishes. Justice, do you want to name a wish in your mind? Uh, uh, I could, I could 
it be a grown-up so I could go to work with Buddha and do a lot of things with him. Sure, sure, you can look forward to that. You could wish to be the oldest. That feels very good to you, huh? Yes? Okay, let's move on to the things you've had, um, things that interest you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you had something you were going to mm -hmm. show us. Did you? Then, she, then you're going to sing together, I think. Okay. I take that. Okay, hold that up against you so that they can see what that is. Say out loud what it is. This is a tech deck. A tech deck? And you can do tricks with it and all that. Cool. So it flips? Mm-hmm. You do it with your fingers? Mm-hmm. And I can do it with two. Yeah, go for it. Try it down there. Look at that. <laughs> okay. And Bella, did you have, you're going to do the song together? Uh, yeah. Okay, stand up tall so everybody can hear you. Sing it out. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I just go where the trade wind blows, sending love to my friends and foes. And I suppose I'm pleased to be chilling in the West Indies. That job provides all my wants and needs. I got the sunshine, rivers, and trees, green leaves, and it goes over. But Keep going. Do it again. Sure. That's so wonderful. Do it one more time. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I just go where the trade wind blows, sending love to my friends and foes. And I suppose I'm pleased to be chilling in the West Indies. I got a job provides all my wants and needs. I got the sunshine, rivers, and trees, green leaves. I have one, one too. Okay, I just to say, I want to hear both of. I want to hear that too, but I just want to check. You made up that song? No, you it, learned it. It was my dad's. It, my dad's friend. Your dad's friend made up that song? Yeah, he's a grown up. And tell him I like it very, very much. Okay. It's a beautiful song. And this one I made up. It, okay. It, I made it when I was at the beach. Okay. I'm a little turtle. You can see me swim with my shell on top. So I'm a little turtle. You can see me swim with my shell on top. So I'm a little turtle, you can see me swim with my hair on top. Thank you that both. Just goes so over. anything else you wanted to say before we finish mm, up? No. No? Okay. Thank you so, so much. Hi, Levi. Hi, Dorothy. I am so glad that you agreed to be interviewed so that I could get to know you better. <laughs> This is an, a special opportunity for both of us. Yes. So um, I wanted to make it more fun by having kind of surprise questions. Yeah. So would you like to just pick one of these curious animals yeah. and what they would like to know? Mm. Tell us when you met someone new or tried something new. Mm -hmm. um, I met my, when I was little, I met my uh, new brother, Justice. Yes. And then uh, I tried something new and let him chew on my locks and my finger. <laughs> <laughs> you let him try yeah. chewing on your locks and your finger. Yeah. So how old were you when you met Justice? I was four or five. Four or five? Yeah. Okay. So you are old enough to remember that. Uh -huh. Yeah. And what was it like for you? Uh, sometimes it would hurt, but most of the time I didn't really care. It hurt when he chomped? I or guess. Or how did it hurt? Like once he grew his actual teeth, he thought it was okay, so then he just like practically ate my finger. Ow! <laughs> That's a challenging thing for Big Brother. <laughs> All right. Thank you.
You want to try another one? Yeah. Zebra. Okay. Tell us when you help someone else or when someone else helped you. Um, when I needed to uh, clean my room, mm -hmm. uh, my little sister Bella helped me clean up my room. That was mighty kind of her. Yeah. And then after she asked me to play princesses with her, and I was like, yeah, sure, you help me with my room, so. Isn't that a great thing to learn mm -hmm. in your family? Yeah. She helped you, and then you were willing to do something with her. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, one more. Jet. Okay. If you had one wish, what would it be? Hmm. I think I have like three or two wishes. Sure, go ahead. Uh, make there be only peace in the world and be on a TV show and hmm, be a billionaire when I grow up. Okay. So, I think that first wish is such an important one. Make mm -hmm. there be only peace in the world. I think a lot of us hold that mm -hmm. as a very real wish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I hope you get your other wishes. Mm -hmm. And this is great practice to be on our TV show. Yeah. yeah. So, would you have something to share with us so we can yes. get to know your interests a little more? Well, so I like art. And I drew this when I was six. Okay, here, I'll help hold it up. So you, do I, am I holding it the right direction? Yeah. Wow. It's like. When you were six. Yeah. Okay, here, you hold that side. This, wow, do you want to tell us what you included in there? Uh, well, I was like really into skateboarding when I was little, so. I drew like a skate uh, shop and a bunch of people skateboarding a uh, road, people skateboarding on it. There's a lot of details. There's a lot so of details. There's like a ramp and inside of like what I wrote, I would write, I would draw people skating in it. So, yeah. Yeah. You filled up that page. Mm-hmm. I hope you treasure this and keep yeah. it a long time. All right. And then my other pictures. And those you can hold against you. Okay. Up tall. This one wasn't finished, but it Put was it like right you this a seal and an octopus dude. <laughs> a bunch of an other octopus stuff. dude? Yeah. <laughs> wow. And. This I drew when I was like Hold it up. eight, because I like skateboarding, and these are a bunch of famous skateboarders. Are they real skateboarders? Yeah. That you've seen? Wow. Uh, mm, football on. You have a whole team there. Yeah. Um, this one Hold this I'm up still, a little longer so the audience I'm still can, working on it. It's is, like a tree with like a shark in the ground. Mm. But it's nice to see your process that you do the outline in black and white and then yeah. you color it. Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Well, I'm extremely impressed with your drawing. Thank you. I, um, I love the detail and I love the colors and the ideas that you include. Yeah. 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 That gives me a lot of ideas. Makes me. So, did you just have that big pad, or how did you get such a nice? Well, uh, my mother's mother. Her name is Toba, and she gave it to me, and yeah. 
I think it's supposed you're supposed to paint on it, but I think you can draw on it too. Absolutely. And I have a bunch of other drawing books that are filled up. They're filled up. Yeah. I believe it. So what do you, what are your favorite drawing materials? Uh, uh, you know? Pastel and colored pencils. Okay. And pens. I was going to say, where did you get those those dark? Black outlines, are they from a marker or ink pen? Those or? were pens, yeah, ink pen. And you just draw, or do you do a pencil first and I then go over I do pencil first and then go over it and then erase the pencil marks. Great, great. That helps me, because I really would love to learn to draw like that, and I have not yet in my life <laughs> learned to draw like that. So thank you so much. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up.